Welcome my lovely future stars to Darling and the Twins Club. Today I'll be talking about our private. Yes, I mean our private. I welcome you if you are just joining the club. My name is Dolly. Sex education is a sensitive topic that most parents shy away from discussing with their children. It is high time parents start educating their children at a very early stage about their body because 1. Children should know the limit they can allow a person to touch their body. 2. They should know they are innocent and their predators also known as pedophiles. Three, they need to build their confidence to say something when they see something. You shouldn't feel embarrassed to discuss with your children about their body. Use age-appropriate words to drive the topic home. Soft teachings provide children with information they need to understand their body. Teaching them the names of their private part, for instance, the female genital, also known as the vagina, not bumble and the male genital which is known as the penis not pee pee or willy willy hello my future stars please let's talk about this important topic together do not allow anyone touch your private part your vital part or your genital at this point let's identify this important part of our body your breast your mouth your armpit your laps female genital male genital anus and your butt. Do not allow anyone touch this part we have mentioned earlier. Only your mom can wash you up if you cannot do so yourself. Parents should ensure they teach children how to wash their private gradually so as they grow older, say by six. You can ask them try washing once a day, say in the morning, while an adult can wash in the evening. The reason for this is that by the time they are seven, they can understand the cause of washing their private. Children, you have to inform your parents if anyone touches the private part we mentioned earlier, even if the person is uncle, auntie, neighbor, nanny, even your classmate, and the person threatens you that he or she will kill you or your parents. In fact, there's a trick my mom told me on how to detect when you should inform your parent on any happening. She always says you are scared and you hide only when you have done a bad thing. For example, someone touches you and asks you not to tell anyone. If he or she has done something good and acceptable, why would the person say you shouldn't say it to no one? Sometimes they go as far as making promises to give you gifts. Please children, remember the red flag is when they tell you to keep it secret. I want to reassure children that your big daddy and mommy can fight any of them to the last. Even these people will be arrested and taken to court. So do not fall for that trick when they tell you they are going to kill your entire family. That's not true. I trust your big daddy to fight for you, so trust them to protect you. This is where I'll be wrapping it up in today's video. This topic is going to be in series, so please watch out. Did you find this information useful? Please thumbs up and share with your friends. If you have more security tips to share, please comment down below. See you soon. Bye.